Hi, this is Ted at Windy Hill Farm. Welcome to our first video of our series of basic horsemanship. What I wanted to do here is to introduce you all on our first video of a video of um, one that we did on a horse we finished here of really what the finished product, what we're striving to do, what our goal is, um, our final outcome our finished product that when we're done with our horsemanship schooling what we should end up with. I want you to watch Monroe here as he mounts his horse stands quietly soft to bridle walks off quietly but I want you just to observe um, how Monroe handles his horse and how he maneuvers his legs and his hands and um, I just think it's so important that you watch this video and you're able to correlate all the things we're going to do in the preschooling in the next several videos on how it associates to um, where we want to end up. So this horse was a horse that we started here Oh, I don't know, it was a four or five year old. And um, nice horse, um, very nice to work with, very polite horse, quick learner. I want you to notice Monroe as he goes along his transitions from walk to trot to canter, very smooth. That's a difference, in my opinion between a high class and a low class horse is their ability to transition those gates. I watch Monroe as he comes around he's going to look to where he's going. He's going to take that chin and point where he wants to go. You notice he's not dragging his horse's head around with his hands. He's using his legs and his seat to turn that horse. You notice his legs and seat did a lot of that right there. We're going to show you how to condition a horse and get him ready to do that. Cantered right off on the right lead. Didn't have to set him up for it. Did it naturally. Uses his feet in his seat to stop his horse. His body language, his posture. Leg yields. See how that horse will sidestep. And a half pass. We like to half pass our horses before we side pass them. This is traditional cavalry style horsemanship. This is how many years ago a cavalry soldier would prepare his horse to go to battle. Stop, very quietly, politely back, canter off, right lead. Very good. This is a garage pole. This is how the medieval knights used to school their horses for battle. And I'm here to tell you, if you can canter that circle with that pole, you're an operator. You should try it one time at home. This is a very good way to school yourself to learn how to guide your horse with your leg and your seat. Um, your body posture, if he doesn't look to the center, and if he doesn't look inside, he'll ride right out of that circle. So what you do is you walk this and then you trot it and then you'll work your way up to where you can canter it. Very good. This is the proper way to open a gate. You should always push the gate away from you when you go through it. If you pull it towards you, you'll get pinched in the gate. But I want you to see how he moves his horse.
Monroe moved his horse over with his leg. Watch, he's going to turn his pivot on the front. Most of that's leg. Now, one thing I want to point out when we do these obstacles, that uh, it, there's more to it than uh, just the obstacles. This is all about your horse saying yes. This is all about your horse saying, I trust you. I know I'm not going to get hurt. Uh, you're able to encourage your horse. This whole process is to encourage him to learn to manage his fear and build his confidence. It's really not about mailboxes and horse trailers and tie, cross ties and noodle walkthroughs and so on. That horse has been properly conditioned to manage his fear. And hopefully um, in his life where he's at now, he will serve his new owner in a very reliable, safe way. These were Monroe's nephews and nieces were visiting that day and they were getting a little ornery on the obstacle course. But we back him right through those obstacles too. If he can go through it forward, he ought to be able to do it backwards. Speaks a lot about a horse. See how he takes his leg and moves his horse around those stones? That's how when you trail ride, that's how you need to ride your horse. You need to guide with your leg 80% of the time. I want you to watch when he goes over these poles. See how this horse is thinking about where he's putting his feet down? He's not stumbling and stepping on these poles. He's thinking about what he's doing. His brain is connected to his feet. Very important, very important. See how he's thinking about what he's doing? That's a good horse. We sold this horse to a man in New Hampshire, shipped him to him. He's doing fantastic with him. He's riding into big mountains out there. People ask me all the time, um, how do you train your horses to jump? Well, we're not hunter-jumper people. And uh, what I tell folks is how we teach our horses to jump is <laughs> we encourage them and teach them not to refuse. Um, we want him to say yes. So if you take that approach, it's not about jumping. It's about saying yes, and it's not about refusing. It's about being forward, having forward motion. To side pass a horse, I think, is very important. Um, in your daily work with a horse on a ranch, and what you do, you need to be able to move your horse over, and he needs to do it very willingly. Um, we're going to do a video on how to condition your horse to do that. But I want you to look at his body posture. I want to see where he's looking, and he's pushing with his left leg. He's not pounding with his spur, he's just asking. He's not telling, he's asking. It's a big difference there. See how his horse is soft in the pole, and drops his nose. We're gonna show you how to condition your horse to do that. Be soft, get up under himself, be supple. All our horses will load, unload, back off the trailer, in a very willing, very kind, obedient way. It's a very important process here.
So with that all said, you know, this is what we strive to do and this is our final outcome. And um, I certainly encourage and invite you to subscribe to our channel and um, keep posted. We're going to post videos every week and take you through step by step on how to accomplish this with your horse. Thank you for your time.